towards the end there we saw Henry Shefflin pounce on the mistakes being made by the Galway backs giving away frees Henry got four points Galway the leaders at the break by five points and so as the teams head for their dressing rooms half time score here reads Galway 1-9 Kilkenny seven points No changes on either team, start of the second half. As uh, Henry Shefflin plays it in here as far as Richie Power. Power takes off, tries to get right through the centre there, drives it for the ball and uh, succeeds in drawing that foul. And an early opportunity now for Kilkenny to get yet another score. A yellow card there is Vinicia to Fergal Moore. Yeah, I think that's a harsh enough yellow card. You know, he did put the hand in over the shoulder, but Richie Power was going to ground. He had nowhere to go, you know, and it was a free, but a very, very harsh yellow card. Henry Shefflin did try for a goal earlier on from uh, a free around 20 metres out. This time he's quite content to put it over the bar. Fifth pointed free for him. And so they've managed once again to eat into the Galway lead. And this is the period of the game I think that Galway really have to, they have to hurl away now because Kilkenny so many times over the years have come out at the start of the second half and started so well. We saw it the last evening against Tipperary. So this is the crucial 10 minutes now for Galway to, to, to weather the storm. At one stage, Galway led Kilkenny by seven points in this final. Pressure on the Kilkenny backs again. Damien Hayes playing it back here towards Niall Burke. And Niall Burke, with unerring accuracy, puts it right over the bar. And that's a very rapid response to the point by Henry Shefflin from a free. So they get point for point then, start of the uh, second half here of this All-Ireland final. And that's what Damien Hayes has been doing all year. He's given that little hand pass, he's not putting the ball in aimlessly, and a great score there by Niall Burke again, who's having a super game at centre forward. Big, huge clearance out of defence. Up towards TJ Reid, had a good first half, had some good moments in that. It's Niall Donahue who got a score in that first half. Poor clearance, under pressure from Owen Larkin, straight to Richie Hogan. This time trying to set up TJ Reid. They need this to go over, and TJ Reid supplies another one for Kilkenny. One in each half for the 24-year-old from Bally Hale Shamrocks. Yeah, lovely little ball there by Richie Hogan. Really should have been cleared up the field by Neil Donahue when he got possession. And TJ Reid, who has been a, you know, has been consistent since the start. He's got a couple of nice points now. It's still Hogan knocking it out here as far as Aidan Fogarty sets off. David Collins is in hot pursuit. Fogarty hasn't scored so far, but then nobody with the uh, numbers 13, 14 or 15 for Kilkenny has scored so far. And this time, this ball, is it over? There's a bit of a dispute. Richie Power saying it is. But uh, the referee is going in. One of the umpires has waved it wide. The other man wasn't sure. It stays at 1-10 to 9 points until referee Barry Kelly has consulted with the umpires. Now, he must have had a good view of that. And I think he's looking over to his linesman as well, who would have been directly behind the ball. And I think he's given the score, yeah. So a score for Richie Power, his first point in this final. And it's hotting up. David Burke again. Foraging around midfield, Henry Shefflin's after him, so too Michael Fenley, still managed to get it away, into a two-man inside forward line, and again, this is taken down here by Brian Hogan, having a very good second half, highly influential, up towards Richie Power this time, breaks down here, it's Aidan Fogarty, and Fogarty quickly to right, puts it over the bar for his first point in this All-Ireland hurling final, and now there's just a point between the teams, 110 to 12 points, and that little man there, Looking on as uh, one of his idols, I'm sure, Aidan Fogarty got his first point here from a tight enough angle, put it over the bar. Out as far as David Collins, up towards Damien Hayes. Fascinating contest in the second half. Out it comes to uh, Brian Hogan, once again, starring at centre-half back. Very much the dominant figure in that line at this stage. Good of him as far as Henry Shefflin gets away from Hines. And Shefflin strikes it. And Shefflin's the one who puts the teams on terms. Henry Shefflin's seventh point of this match. The would-be history maker ties it up with 50 minutes gone. Teams level in this All-Ireland final for the second time. Yeah, that's a great score. You see the timing there. He just waited for that ball, brought it down and over the bar. A great score. And you know, Galway have got very negative. They've only scored one point, as I said earlier in the second half. Uh, the drop, you know, dropping men back is fine, but Kilkenny are able to pick up scores like that from out the field. And Galway really need to drive on now. You know, they still have loads of pace, loads of power in their legs. 
now there's an extra bit of sparkle in Kilkenny's play that buzz which was missing at times in the first half maybe down to nervousness maybe just a hangover as a result of the hammering in the Leinster final they lost by 10 points after all but certainly now they are much more assertive and much more looking like their old selves long way out now for Henry Shefton but he should have no problem with the distance Two great shooters in action here, Joe Canning and Henry Shefflin. Henry with this monster of a free. Deep inside his own half of the field. He's now got eight points in this match. King Henry, their hero. Is he on his way to a ninth All-Ireland winner's medal? Kilkenny lead by one, and there are 54 minutes, a little over gone. James Skehel, now there's a need for a rapid response by Galway. As you've been saying, Michael, only one point to show for the second half so far. And that a score by Niall Burke. And here is Niall Burke, and there is a response. What a time to get it. 55 minutes gone. Niall Burke comes up with his first ever goal in the championship. It's only a second score for Galway in the second half. Well, what a timely boost it's come. Big one in. Burke followed it in, and that is a simply wonderful score, beautifully executed. 2-10 now to 14 points, and it's Galway by two. Back to Jackie Turrell once again. Players must be tired and weary, but they're giving absolutely everything they've got in towards Henry Shefflin. Breaks it to himself, Shefflin! Colin Fennelly saved! Brilliantly saved by James Scale. I think he might have claimed he lay on the ball in a what is saved by James Scahill. If God would want to win this, this is the crucial moment of the game. Brilliant touchdown by Henry Shefflin, flicked it into Colin Fennelly straight away and a brilliant save. I thought Henry might have gone himself and tried to beat the goalkeeper. Yeah, maybe he didn't trust the legs at this stage of his life, but he gave a brilliant, brilliant pass straight away to Colin Fennelly and this is a crucial call now. Did he lie in the ball? Is it going to be a free in or will it be a, a throw in on the 21? Well, the referee must have had a very good view of it himself. Well, the umpire certainly had, they were just beside it. Well, what's he doing? He's giving it to Kilkenny, he's saying that he lay on the ball and it's going to be a free in. This and is huge now. Opportunity this is coming huge. up. We saw it in, 2010, in 2009. It's a 21 free, in, free yeah. Which uh, Henry Shefflin's going to take. Goalkeeper deemed to have laid on the ball. Henry striking, he's put it over the bar didn't go for the uh, goal opportunity and so the teams are level once again Henry Shefflin now with 10 points you can just see a lovely touchdown here by Henry Shefflin hurled thrown there again by Johnny Combe what a save by James Cahill any surprise that Henry didn't go for a goal there? well not really it's too tight a game I think this is, look there's only 10 minutes to go it's going to go right down to the wire and uh, he did it at the very beginning I know he did but if they go on and lose by a point you'd be saying it afterwards I think it was the right call 19, Jonathan Glynn coming in. And Conor Cooney hasn't lasted very long. That's a hard, it's hard on Conor Cooney, but a brave call by the management. Back Brian Hogan, what Brian a second Hogan. half he's had. Yes, super. Up as far as Larkin, takes it down and then turns, and then in one striking move, puts it effortlessly over the crossbar. A point in each half by the team captain, playing today in his 35th championship match, and Kilkenny respond to the goal earlier on by Niall Burke by going back into the lead. And that's a that's a brilliant team score. And what a second half Brian Hogan has had. He's absolutely dominated. Even though Niall Burke has scored 1-2, dominated him in the first half and broke in for the goal there, but Brian Hogan has been very influential in the second half. 1-2, however, means they've only scored uh, two scores in the second half goal. Right? They need more if they're to win this final. Damian Hayes back as far as Tony O'Gregan. Trying to place it this time, across here beautifully, and this time it's Cyril Donnellan, and uh, he slipped, and the referee says he was aided in his slipping by being pushed by Tommy Welch, and it's going to be a free in, and a chance now for Joe Canning, this one is certainly one he needs to nail. Can't afford to miss this, it's a highly pressurised free. You've got 1-6 in the first half, Joe Canning, nothing in the second half so far, the only scores from Niall Burke, and this one is right over. Goal and seven for Big Joe, and it is Galway who are 2-11. Kilkenny, 17 points. Again, Paul Murphy, steady as ever, brilliant as usual. Big one all the way down to Larkin, the captain, trying to get the better here at the fullback. Owen Larkin goes down, is it a penalty? Referee is racing in there, 
He's waving his hands apart. It is a penalty for a foul on Owen Larkin. Dramatically late in this final, with 67 minutes gone. Kilkenny have a chance here from a penalty to seal the All-Ireland, maybe. This is how it came about. Larkin going down, goalkeeper came diving out. And there was a back there as well, and uh, James Skehel has got a yellow card for that. But there could be further trouble ahead. Usually, it's Fergal Moore and Tony O'Gregan on the goal line with goalkeeper James Skehel for penalties. Yeah, look at that was it was reckless by James Skehel. He dived out with the two feet, took the legs. There was I don't know if Owen Larkin was going to get control of the ball, but it's a penalty now. And in a tight game like this, there is a tendency maybe to tap it over the bar and go point up. But I think he'll have to go for it. It's the winner of the game is in this puck. Henry Shefflin, 61st championship match for the 33-year-old from Ballyhale. He's got 11 points in this match so far, seven of them in the second half. The team's level at 18 points apiece, or 12 to 18 points. Henry Shefflin striking, and he's put it up high, up into the upper tier of the stand at the Davin end. He's got a 12th point, wasn't going for a goal there, wasn't taking a chance. Kilkenny by one. Well, I think that's a big, big, that's a big, big call. You know, if he'd scored a goal, more than likely the game was over. Galway will be relieved from that, and it just shows you the tension that's out there. It's such a tight game, and a big, big call by Henry Shefflin. Debbie Glennon has come on, and Damien Hayes is the one who has been taken off the Galway team. Who's going to win it? Kilkenny marginally ahead. Galway still with possession here and dear Latanian up into the clouds back down it comes into the hand of David Burke fouled free in chance for Joe Canning to come out and to get another one he's got a goal in eight so far and his team is a point behind in the 2012 All-Ireland hurling final big moment again we've had plenty of big moments in this match Joe Canning pressure back on him about 50 metres out pretty central can he make it and he's put it wide He's missed it. Big miss, huge miss. Galway behind by a point still. Kilkenny ahead by 19 points to 2-12. Dropped in here. Murphy winning the race. Can he get it away? Now as far as Richie Hogan, ever the star. Well away from danger. Another one minute and 20 seconds or thereabouts to go in the final. Tanya trying to get it back. Davy Glennon, will he be the hero? They need a score. He drives into the back to Jackie Turrell this time. He wins a free. And there's an opportunity as Jackie Turrell gets a yellow card for that. There's an opportunity once again as the managers exchange angry glances and a few words. Such is the tension of the occasion. Obviously, it's that last call. Yeah, absolutely. Did he charge? Did he not? Well, I, I think there was a ball there in the wing. Tommy Walsh attacked the ball, might have been fouled, didn't get the free in. And then David Glennon just ran into him there. And Brian Cody, very, very animated, and Anthony Cunningham standing his ground and look at that's